Escaping the edge. Understanding, back from the brink. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing English phrase that you might have heard but not fully understood. Back from the brink. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to use it confidently in your conversations. So, let's get started and explore what it means to come back from the brink. The phrase, back from the brink, is used to describe a situation where something or someone has almost reached a point of disaster or failure but has managed to recover just in time. The word, brink, refers to the very edge of something, often implying a catastrophic outcome if one were to go over it. Therefore, coming back from it means you've narrowly avoided a negative consequence and are now in a safer or more stable position. While the exact origin of the phrase is not clear, it's been used in various contexts, from politics and economics to personal health and well-being. It's a dramatic way to describe close calls with danger or failure. For example, a company might be back from the brink of bankruptcy if it suddenly becomes profitable again after struggling for a long time. To help you understand how to use back from the brink in real life situations, let's look at a few examples. After months of negotiations, the two countries were back from the brink of war having reached a peaceful agreement. The patient was back from the brink of death, thanks to the timely intervention of the medical team. The team was back from the brink of defeat when they scored the winning goal in the last minute of the game. These sentences show how the phrase can be applied to various scenarios, always implying a reversal from a very bad situation to a better one. Understanding phrases like, back from the brink, not only enriches your vocabulary but also helps you grasp the nuances of English expressions. Such phrases add color and depth to your language, allowing you to express complex situations with just a few words. They are particularly useful in storytelling, whether you're writing or speaking, as they quickly convey the severity of a situation and its resolution. We hope this exploration of the phrase, back from the brink, has been enlightening. English is filled with such vivid expressions that can help you express a wide range of emotions and situations succinctly and powerfully. Remember, learning these phrases will not only improve your English comprehension but also your ability to communicate effectively. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.